Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to an inking video. Um, I'm having to overdub audio on it. I had originally um, put music over it and uh, I immediately was getting a copyright claim, although it was supposed to be free music. Whatever. <laughs> so yeah, this is sped up about 50%. Um, the original video was, I think, 22 minutes. And uh, it's, a you know, you can you can hit the gear icon when you're on um, YouTube and um, slow the video down if you really want to watch it at 100% speed. But uh, yeah, I never speed them up that much. But uh, this was uh, maybe midway through the piece, a little, maybe a little over. But uh, I recorded a lot of footage of myself working on this piece. Um, I'm really having a fun time working on it. It's it's not done. I'm I'm kind of on a deadline right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm using a Hunt 102 right here um, with that little squishy thing. If you follow me on Twitter, uh, I actually did tweet. Uh, what it was and it's also on my instagram um yeah i actually think that i do a pretty good job on mark um c coming back and looking at this piece for the first time ever inking him it's not a bad start i mean it, it, you know you you always want to improve but but uh i i think that there's definitely potential there i don't have any opportunity to ink him just to be clear but but uh i'm just saying in general it was uh a pretty good experience doing doing this piece and uh, I would definitely do another one um uh, let's see the bottom where the skull and like the signature signatures are that is mostly brush um if you sign up to my patreon I actually have a 30 minute video that I send people um that that uh, explains all those sort of core uh, fundamental techniques for inking. So over 80 videos on my Patreon, I'm telling you for like one to five dollars, depending on how generous you want to be with a tip, you get full access to the site. There's I, I don't I don't even know. There's so many videos. Um, I send you direct links to about 25, and then if you just go through the posts, um, you can you can find probably probably another. 60 videos it's a lot um i just shot a david finch um video this morning that's going to be i'm going to do the full piece uh for patreon um right now i'm using a copic multi-liner it's a 0.1 uh it's really really good for fine detail and I, I mean i could do the same detail with a 102 but a lot of times when i'm filming um to avoid smearing which tends to happen more when i'm filming i don't really smear if i'm just working on my own unless i'm being really really impatient um but uh yeah for whatever reason uh, most of these videos i recorded dialogue when i originally recorded them uh but what was happening is a lot of these videos that i shot it would go out of focus for extended periods of time and it just kind of ruined the video and sometimes i would be like halfway through a point and uh coming back uh, you know, like editing out the blurry part, uh, the conversation made no sense. So it made the audio kind of not really usable, unfortunately. But um, I could do this. This is not a big deal. It takes a little bit longer um, to process the video, but but uh, I'm committed to making pretty good content uh, and and uh, varied content. So also, I wanted to thank James Reyes. Um, he is at least in one video giving me a shout out he's box office artist on youtube but uh i i don't know james real well i inked him for a brief amount of time many years ago i don't i want to say it was either two covers or maybe we did a full comic and two covers together but um he was always a really really nice guy he was very easy to work with i remember his work being very very detailed and um he's got a really extremely successful youtube channel he's closing in on a million subscribers uh, some of his videos get like an ex extraordinary amount of views. I mean, he has a couple of videos that are like 11 million views, 13 million views. It's it's really, really unbelievable. So some of the projects that he's done on his YouTube channel is, is you know, I would give him full credit for the idea. I've seen other people do similar things, just, just to be clear, but... Um, you know, I am going to start doing more stuff like that because because I do need to grow my YouTube channel. It's great to have the amount of subs that I have now, but but um, doing, you know, projects um, that are a little more um, insane, I think will be more exciting and bring more people in. Um, and uh, it just makes it more 
the, the you know the, the obviously the more views that you have the the more time you can spend on on YouTube right now my YouTube channel is really grown but but uh, it needs to be bigger so that's why I always encourage people you know please make sure you hit the like button and uh, you know please make sure that you uh, at some point uh, share a video or two it really will help me so when when I'm inking up here at the top you'll see that the lines go kind of thin and thick and even some sort of uh, break apart. Like you see, I didn't connect that one little line over there. Um, I consider that material up above him sort of floaty and, and a little, see that goes out of focus for a second. Um, I'm using a brush now that is looks like a Windsor Newton. I can't see the, 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 the end of it. If it's orange, then it'll be a, a, a Raphael, but, um, yeah, so those are brush strokes. Um, but yeah, so thins and thicks, some broken lines with Mark. Uh, I'm avoiding large black areas uh, more for um, like lines and stuff going through the black areas. And, and uh, at the end, I can always decide what I want to make jet black. But I give myself the opportunity to have the breathing room to leave it open. Um, and... Uh, you know, at the end, too, you could always put a little white. If you go too dark on an area and it feels like it needs to be uh, breathe more in the um, white area, you can always just throw some little thin um, white lines through stuff. So either way, you're kind of massaging it the whole way. I'm back with the Copic Multiliner here. Same thing with the hair. I wanted to make the hair very thin and wispy and kind of broken. And, and I'm even sort of at times making my hand do ugly strokes where like I have pretty good control, but I'll, I'll kind of force myself to, to write a little looser and kind of hold the pen a little looser and, and let the line sort of be funky. Again, it's that um, tight, but loose out of control, but, but very much in control. Uh, and you know, I, I said in another video, it, it doesn't always uh, appeal to the pencilers that I work with. Um, you know, but, but them's is the breaks. It won't matter when I ink my own stuff. Cause I can, I can do it any way I want. And, and, uh, that would be the other thing that I actually learned a lot from doing this Mark Silvestri piece is just the level of kind of commitment and, and, um, time that you're going to spend when a piece is just rendered. So, um, I always find it very healthy to work on something like this because, um, if you're working on your own stuff, you can sort of lose touch with, um, what, what, what it takes, like what goes into a piece like this, it would be like building anything, you know, uh, your, your, your fantasy of what it's like versus the reality of what it's like, um, until you really walk in their shoes, um, you don't know the experience. So this gives me in some ways a virtual experience of, of what it would take to do something, um, of this quality and this level of detail. So I, I find it really, um, helpful in that regard that, that I could walk away from a, this piece and draw something similar, you know, a scary monster guy with crinkly material that's all ripped up on him and, and a creepy skull and stuff like that and know how much effort it took me to do it. And you'll find that too, as you improve with your work. So we're closing on the end of the video. Please smash the like, have a great day. And I hope that that was fun to watch and somewhat um, interesting. All right. Bye.